I am here to tell you that you can change the world. Yes, you. I know it sounds crazy, but what you choose to put on your plate three times a day has a profound impact on the planet. See, how a food was grown or raised has more to do with your personal greenhouse gas impact than the car you drive. So let's go through a scenario to illustrate this point. You're driving home from work and you're stressed and tired and hungry. The trifecta. You see out of the corner of your eye a fast food restaurant. You stop off and you grab a hamburger. So what? No big deal, right? You know it's not the healthiest meal, but you're only hurting yourself. Well, for us, the story of the hamburger often starts when we're handed the bag and it ends when we take that last bite. But in reality, that hamburger started its journey months and months before it was ever in your hand and miles and miles away from that fast food restaurant. See, most people don't think about where their food started its journey. But that's the most important part of the story when it comes to the environment. So let's take a look at the story of the hamburger. Have you ever noticed that there are more rabbits than foxes in the world? Believe it or not, this phenomenon can teach us why eating meat is harmful for the environment. A natural food chain looks something like this. The energy from the sun feeds the grass. The rabbits eat the grass and multiply, and the foxes eat the rabbits. Each step is another level in the food chain. You might think foxes are on top, but just wait. See, each time you go up a level in a food chain, 90% of the energy from the previous level is lost. If there were 1,000 units of energy in the sun, there will be 100 units of energy in the grass. From those 100 units in the grass, just 10 rabbits can be sustained. Finally, those 10 rabbits can support just one fox. Being on the top is precarious, you need a lot of levels below you to survive. Even though we might not think it, humans are still bound by the laws of nature. When we eat hamburgers, we are putting ourselves on the top of the food chain. We need a lot more cows than humans to support our meat-eating ways. In fact, can you guess how many animals are slaughtered for food every year in the United States? If you guessed 10 billion, you were correct. 10 billion animals to support just 300 million humans. Do you notice a pattern? Now, to feed 10 billion animals, you need a lot of grass, or in the case of the cow, a lot of corn. In fact, most of what we grow in this country is actually just to feed the animals we eat. It takes a lot of energy to grow food for someone else, which means more greenhouse gas emissions. And a lot of calories are wasted in the process. In fact, the amount of grain fed to the world's cow population could feed 8.7 billion human beings. And that's just the cows. By eating plants directly, we can get rid of the middle cow and have enough food for all. Eating animals is inefficient. Eating plants is sustainable. So the next time you stop to order a hamburger, consider eating plants instead. It truly will help to save the world. We have to do something. Change starts with us. So when I tell you that you can change the world, I'm not lying. It starts with your plate. So eat more plants. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please hit the like button, leave me a comment below, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. And millions and hundreds and thousands of miles away.